Om Shanti and welcome back to an all new episode of Ek Mulakat. As you know, we bring a special guest to you each time from different walks of life. And our guest today is Dr. Viola Nicholas from Nigeria. She's a research scientist and she works with non-governmental organizations that are involved in care, in nutrition and support of those that are afflicted with different kinds of health conditions and different diseases. She has performed extensive research on diabetes and uh, obesity, sickle cell anemia, to name a few. So let's all welcome Dr. Uh, Viola Nicholas. Uh, we'd like to welcome you to Godlywood Studio and the Brahma Kumari headquarters here at Mount Abu. And we are very pleased to have you with us on our show today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Um, doctor, I'd first like to start off by asking you, um, you are a biochemist and a researcher. Uh, what was it that attracted you to this field of research? I'm a researcher. You know, um, I have the quest to get knowledge. Mm -hmm. I want to make people to have a better life, to have a quality life in the area of nutrition and in the area of food. So that was how the concept came in, that let me go into food and nutrition. I'm also an advocate of food security and nutrition tech security in Nigeria. So that was how the concept came in. Okay. Um, as I understand, you also work with non-government agencies, and the purpose of that is, again, to develop um, good food for those that are underprivileged. Um, what is your take on this in the sense, um, this is a much needed service, but um, how did you develop this project? I'm a research scientist with uh, Federal Institute of Industrial Research in Nigeria, a parastatal under Federal Minister of Science and Technology. Actually, we are into research and development. Okay. Yeah, we have a broad mandate which are um, research and development in agro-food processing and also research and development in pulp and paper, yeah. uh, in design, product design, and fabrication of prototype equipment. So those are the areas we have. But I specialize on the product development in the area of functional foods and nutraceuticals because uh, my intention was to develop food-based products mm -hmm. that you have the mindset that you are taking in food mm -hmm. but indirectly it has a medicinal value for instance um, we have a diabetic patient mm -hmm. we have developed a lot of uh, anti-diabetic uh, products yeah staple foods that one can eat and it will be managing the condition okay yes so and uh, apart from that other non-communicable diseases like cardiovascular problems, we have food, functional foods and functional beverages developed to manage such conditions in the Institute. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I also um, recall uh, reading about your, in your biodata that um, you have done research on uh, sickle cell anemia as well. Yes. Um, what kind of products um, have you come up with? Does it combat sickle cell anemia or does it I know it's a heredity, if I'm uh, mistaken, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a heredity a disease, right? It's just a, a point mutation, mm -hmm. yeah, in the, in the genetics. So, but what we, we came up with is uh, a food-based uh, nutraceuticals that can um, reverse the cycling, the cycling and also um, prevent such patients mm -hmm. from going into complications. Oh, yeah, you know, um, sickle cell disease uh, comes with a lot of complications, mm -hmm. eye problem, um, odema, and so many, um, even uh, the blood cells, short, uh, shortage of blood cells. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So when you're taking the nutraceutical, it will cause reversal because, you know, in cycling mechanism, the sickle cell, the red blood cell will become sickled. Mm -hmm. And when it becomes sickled, it's going to block some vessels right. and the blood will not flow well. Right. Yeah. Right. And such condition will not prevent 
proper circulation of oxygen. Right. That sounds like a big breakthrough because yeah, it it's is. wonderful. It you is. know, for parents who have children with sickle cell anemia, yeah. this must be like a godsend gift from all of you. Yes, and we have equally done clinical trials. Okay. Yes, with the uh, Awashika uh, uh, Foundation in Nigeria. Okay. Yes, we've done clinical trials in Nigeria. We have equally done uh, in London. Yes, That's and wonderful. Uh, the result was excellent. Were positive. Yes. So it has come to that level of uh, clinical trials. I mean, we have gone beyond that. Okay. Because currently we have equally transferred the technology to May and Baker pharmaceutical okay. company in Nigeria because our research institutes, uh, we are into development. When we develop a technology, we transfer to industries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, presently we have transferred the technology to May and Baker to commercialize the okay. products okay, that's in really Nigeria. Wonderful. You also work with uh, diabetes and obesity as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yes, um, I did a, um, I carried out research uh, during my master's. Yeah, I worked on diabetes using plant extracts. Oh, wow. Yeah, using plant extracts mm -hmm. to correct the diabetic condition the, in, the, in animal. In, in animals. Yes. Because I know, uh, diabetes, it's like, uh, type one, type two. Um, so did you particularly target diabetes in rats? Uh -huh. Then I got uh, some, um, plants, like, uh, I got an extract from onion, from cabbage, and I did a, uh, a combination of those uh, plant extracts and administered at a particular dose mm -hmm. so that uh, we can monitor the degree mm -hmm. of correction. And uh, it was a positive result that we achieved then. That is really wonderful because a plant, I mean, they grow, you know, it's economic. So if you can get some medicine out of plants, then this will be very cost effective too. Yeah. To bring down the cost of medicines because medicines are so expensive these days. So that's a really wonderful development, I think. Um, you know, here at Brahma Kumaris, we are taught that, especially since you're into food and uh, food for the underprivileged, um, when the food is being cooked, there is the vibrations, you know, the person who's cooking the food, the vibrations of that food, of the person who's cooking the food, goes into the food. And eventually, it affects the person who's consuming the food. What are your thoughts on that? Have you ever, you know, thought about this? I, I think I should believe that, yeah, because uh, I'm quite a spiritual person, because uh, I know that uh, we scientists, we have the Supreme Father, that the greatest scientist of all the scientists. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh -huh. So I believe in vibrations. I believe in um, personalities, the mind and intellect of individual. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So one can equally uh, radiate healing energy to a particular food in the process of developing a product. Right. Yeah. If, if your interest is to correct diabetic condition, you can equally um, radiate energy to that product. And when the diabetic patients are consuming such products, right. they will be healed. Exactly. Yeah, I believe. You know, very beautifully said, because um, once the knowledge resonates with you, then there is no looking back. I mean, once you take it up with your heart, then you just want to like go on and on and, you know, spread it to everyone. Do you think once you go back from here, would you be talking about it with your colleagues, your peers? And uh, would you be in any way, you know, may I use the word spokesperson for Brahma Kumaris? Let me use this word that I'm not stingy. <laughs> yeah, what I have also... I will give out. Right. Before I came here, I've already invited my employer, oh, nice. Professor Gloria Elemo, uh -huh. to visit uh, Brahma Kumaris okay. in Lagos. Mm -hmm. And she did. Okay. Yeah. And I've or, or also introduced some of my colleagues and my friends mm -hmm. to also, if some of them took the knowledge with me. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's so nice. I, I believe in sharing. Mm -hmm. I believe in radiating the knowledge to people around me, right. sharing the happiness, right. sharing the love, so that all of us will equally benefit. Right, right. Yeah. So you're already being a lighthouse. You're spreading the light and might uh, to sure. those around you. Yeah. That's really wonderful to know. I was also wondering, you know, they always say the mind-body medicine. So if you have a perfectly healthy mind, then you're going to have a healthy body. And 
what I'm hearing you say is you're already into this, you know, with your loving assistance that you're giving to the uh, person who are not well. Tell me more, if you can, about your work, because this is such a humanitarian job that you're doing, too. It's like total upliftment of the society. And uh, that just sounds like really wonderful, the work that you're doing. So if you could please uh, give us more examples of what you're doing. Okay, um, I'm into a lot of uh, programs. I have, um, I'm into um, child education. Okay. Yeah, I gather children together uh -huh. to give them, to share knowledge, especially in the area of my field, science. Right. Yeah, I, I believe in capturing them at that level. Right. Because when you capture them at that level, they can go high. Exactly. Uh -huh. So I have a program like that. I stay together with them. We read books together. We share together. Mm -hmm. We play together. Nice. And we dismiss. That's very then nice. Then I have another program with farmers. Mm -hmm. Without farmers, there will be no food. There will be no food. There will be no nation. Right. I have a program because I see if we can deprogram the farmers mm -hmm. and rechannel them to the right path mm -hmm. so that they can drop those uh, negative energies within them, drop the use of chemicals mm -hmm. on the farm because you should equally know what the farmers are putting in the farm. Exactly. Yeah, it shouldn't be post-harvest. Right. What happens in the farm right. should be our priority. Right. Now, I have a program like that whereby I train farmers on commercial organic farming mm -hmm. using the things around us to energize the soil. Mm -hmm. I've done so many presentations in collaboration with Brahma's Kumaris. Okay, I was just going I, to ask I you. I invited uh, Sister okay. Gutami okay. and also Dr. Gagan okay. in Nigeria. They came, they trained the farmers, okay. teaching them how to give the energize the soil using their internal energies right when you give the soil the right energy you see the the seed sprouting mm -hmm. and growing and it will be nurtured right greatly right so you're already ahead of me because i was actually <laughs> going to ask you if you have taken the help of brahma kumaris because you know here they have something called as uh, yogi kheti which is like yeah. you know farming with uh, yoga you know, where you concentrate on the supreme and then pass the vibrations onto the field. So you are way ahead. Yeah, and, and, and so many farmers, we are very happy. Yeah. And, and most of them started going to uh, Brahma's Kumaris in the lighthouse to get more knowledge. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> so they saw positive results with this technique. They were able to see the yes. results. Came with me. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, really wonderful. Came with me here in India. That's really nice. So, um, it's really beautiful that you're following all these Brahma Kumari principles already. And now that you're here, you know, you can even, uh, deepen whatever you have learned there so far because you've come to the hub, the Mecca, you know, of Brahma Kumari. It's like this is the world quarters. And with all this energy around here, I'm sure it's going to help you, you know, a lot more go into this further. Um, what in terms of, uh, your, spiritual um understanding you know before you came into brahma kumaris were you kind of on similar lines um the principles or you know whatever is talked about the knowledge here was there any kind of friction at any point where um you thought like maybe you know is this true or not true or even in terms of um, vegetarian food you know that is what is um, suggested that you have vegetarian food so was there any kind of conflict in your mind? There is nothing like conflict mm -hmm. because I'm seeing the similarities because we have one God. Right. Yeah. We have one God. You know, before I got my knowledge, I was a, 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 um, a Catholic. Yes. Roman Catholic. Mm -hmm. So everything we do in Roman Catholic, I see similarities here. Okay. Yeah. We, we have the Supreme Father. Mm -hmm. We go to the Supreme Father to worship Him. Mm -hmm. We go to the Supreme Father to honor Him. Mm -hmm. We go to the Supreme Father for our needs. For everything. For everything. Right. So when I came here, it's still the same thing. Wow. 
<laughs> I think I'm equally in the right place. Right. Because uh, initially when um, sister told me about it, I said, I hope <laughs> it's not uh, all those... Uh, right. Yeah. Right. So I said, okay, let me just give it a try. Let me see. Right. Because I'm interested in the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So when she started giving me the knowledge, I was... I got the revelation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know that we have one father and we are the children. Mm -hmm. We all are connected to the father. And this is the same thing we have in Catholic Church. We have God. He is just like the vine mm -hmm. and we are the branches. Right. We are linked to the vine. Right. The seed of the tree. Right, right. So it's still the same thing. Right. Yeah. And most of the things I, I hear in the Muli, mm -hmm. Even some Bible passages. Right. Also, right. it's also in the movie. So I said, we have the same father. Right. Yeah. And we are one mm -hmm. before our father, before our maker. Right. Uh, was there any kind of um, opposition from your family or like when they found out that you, you know, you're interested in Brahma Kumaris or your friends at work or your peers? Was there any kind of, um, I mean, sometimes, like, uh, for us here, it's different. Like, you're in India and you're following Brahma Kumaris. But uh, for someone who is outside India in a different culture, when you start going to an organization which is not native to your country, and sometimes people are kind of, like, wondering why you're doing that. So you did not have to face anything like that? No, I, I'm not at all. Even when I introduced my uh, employer, uh -huh. uh, she was very happy. Okay. Yeah, even when she came. She was very happy and uh, Sister Gutami gave her knowledge. And she was so excited. Mm -hmm. Even um, even when I came, it was even my husband that made me to to be frequenting the place. Yeah. Because initially when I came, I was still, um, I was not really strong like that. Mm -hmm. He he came with me okay. and, uh, you know, he said, nothing, we can try it, okay. you know. Even my sister. Uh -huh. I brought my sister and her friend there, and she's equally taking um, treatment. That's really wonderful to know, because when there is no resistance, then, you know, there's harmony in everything, then that helps us, you know, a long way, go a long way. would definitely like to continue this conversation. I'm having, like, such a wonderful time, <laughs> but we do have time constraints. Um, in conclusion, what would be your words of wisdom to our viewers out there today who are watching us? Just summing it up, your total experience, um, whether it's here or back home, what would you like to say to our viewers? Okay, we we'll love to tell my um, viewers that without spirituality, there will be no existence. So let us come together as one, as brothers and sisters, and receive this revelation, receive this knowledge, so that all of us will be happy to meet in the golden age. How wonderful and how <laughs> nicely said. So with these words, I really, really thank you for coming and talking to us. And uh, I wish you all the best when you go back and, you know, enjoy your stay here. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Our special guest today, Dr. Viola Nicholas from Nigeria. As you may have heard through the interview, that her specialty is caregiving. She supports different sections of the society, be it children, be it individuals afflicted with HIV or any other kind of conditions, health conditions. And her love for this profession, her passion came through her words today when she was talking about her caregiving abilities. It was very interesting to know that there is somebody out there who's looking for those that are underprivileged. With these words, we really would like to thank you for being with us, for watching us. And uh, we hope to see you again next time when we come back with another guest. Until then, take care and Om Shanti. Our YouTube channel, Godlywood Studio, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon for new videos.